Welcome to Pins and Things. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make this Lumos Knox lamp. So today for this lamp, I'm going to be using my Cricut machine. I will have a link in the description below where you can purchase your very own Cricut machine. I use it all the time for tons of different projects. You could also use a razor blade and or an X-Acto knife and a cutting board and just print off on the computer what you'd like and then Mod Podge it on the inside of your lampshade. All right, I put my much used contact paper on the top of my Lumos that's backwards. And now I can peel it up and take off the back piece of the paper. And this will make it so it sticks on the inside of the lamp perfectly. Oh! You can see it. That is so exciting. So I'm just pushing it down really hard while the contact paper is still on it just to make sure that it stays on there really, really well. And now that I've pushed it down, I can peel off the contact paper and make sure it doesn't peel any of the Lumos up. This is just gonna take a lot of patience. I wanted to make it white on the inside so that it's not super noticeable in the daylight when you're not using your lamp. It just looks like a completely normal lamp, but then once you turn on the light, it shows up really well. Woohoo! Oh, that looks so good. You wouldn't be able to see it very well if it wasn't backlit right now. Oh! That is awesome. Now it's time to put Knox on the outside right here. All right, so now we just need that one. I'm gonna actually take and use this as a stencil so that it will go in the exact right place. We can take our glow-in-the-dark paint and fill in the entire spot, all of the letters. Woo, it's gonna look so good! I've got my paintbrush and my glow-in-the-dark paint here. I'm just working with what I have here while I'm still unpacking my house. <laughs> Here's my glow-in-the-dark paint. It's What's cool is that it's see-through, so you're not gonna see it until the light turns off. So I turned on the light to help it dry, and right now, the inside is still totally fine. It's not getting too hot or peeling or anything. It's doing really well. I made it white so that all you could really see was the silhouette of it, and that is exactly what I want because I want it to look like a completely normal lamp during the day, but at night it becomes really extra special. I'm making sure to put plenty of layers of glow-in-the-dark paint here so it'll be really glow-in-the-dark when we peel this off. Okay, I'm in the pantry. I just found a plug that works and that is in a dark place. So I want to turn off the main light here and we've got the lamp all done. I want to turn off the lamp and see if the glow-in-the-dark paint worked and I'm so excited! Okay, ready to unplug. Whoa! so bright. You can't see the Lumos at all anymore. All right, it's time to peel off our Knox here. If it's front lit, you can't see it at all. But I just love how during the day, this looks almost like a normal lamp. You almost wouldn't even expect it. So for those secret potter heads out there, this is the perfect project for you. Especially if you want to give somebody something and they love Harry Potter, but they are not like the super, super fanatic fan. This is the perfect thing for them because it's a little bit hidden. It's so cool. Harry Potter lamp. So it's completely finished now. It looks so good. I really, really, really like it. I'm so excited to be able to use this in my new house. Follow me on the beach house also. That's my other channel. And you can see how I just moved and I'm going to be having a couple new sets set up. In fact, those will be coming up soon in my newer videos on pins and things. Also, I have some more leftover Harry Potter tutorials from Harry Potter Christmas week. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was really fun to shoot. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you guys next time.